I'm an old man now, and a lonesome man in Kansas, but not afraid to speak my lonesomeness in a car, because not only my lonesomeness, it's ours all over America. Oh, tender fellows. And spoken lonesomeness is prophecy in the moon a hundred years ago or in the middle of Kansas now. It's not the vast plains mute our mouths that fill at midnight with ecstatic language when our trembling bodies hold each other breast to breast on a mattress. Not the empty sky that hides the feeling from our faces, nor our skirts and trousers that conceal the body love emanating in a glow of beloved skin, white smooth abdomen down to the hair between our legs. It's not a god that bore us that forbid our being, like a sunny rose all red with naked joy between our eyes and bellies. Yes, all we do is for this frightened thing we call love, want, and lack. Fear that we aren't the one whose body could be beloved of all the brides of Kansas City, kissed all over by every boy of Wichita. Oh, but how many in their solitude weep aloud like me. On the bridge over Republican River, almost in tears to know how to speak the right language. On the frosty broad road, uphill between highway embankments, I search for the language that is also yours. Almost all our language has been taxed by war. Radio antennae, high tension wires ranging from Junction City across the plains. Highway cloverleaf sunk in a vast meadow, lanes curving past Abilene to Denver filled with old heroes of love, to Wichita where McClure's mind burst into animal beauty, drunk, getting laid in a car in a neon misted street 15 years ago, to independence where the old man still alive who loosed the bomb that slaved all human consciousness and made the body universe a place of fear. Now, speeding along the empty plain, no giant demon machine visible on the horizon, but tiny human trees and wooden houses at the sky's edge, I claim my birthright, reborn forever as long as man in Kansas or other universe. Joy reborn after the vast sadness of the war gods. A lone man talking to myself. No house in the brown vastness to hear. Imagining the throng of selves that make this nation one body of prophecy, language by declaration as pursuit of happiness. I call all powers of imagination to my side in this auto to make prophecy. All lords of human kingdoms to come, Shambhu, Bharti, Baba, naked, covered with ash, Kaki Baba, fat-bellied, mad with the dogs, Dehorahava Baba, who moans, Oh, how wounded, how wounded! Siddharamankartathakar, who commands, Give up your desire. Satyananda who raises two thumbs in tranquility. Kali Pada Guha Roy whose yoga drops before the void. Shivananda who touches the breast and says, Om. Srimata Krishnaji of Brindabanda says, Take for your guru, William Blake, the invisible father of English visions. Shri Ramakrishna, master of ecstasy, eyes half closed, who only cries for his mother. Chaitanya, arms upraised, singing and dancing his own praise. Merciful Shango, judging our bodies. Durgama, covered with blood, destroyer of battlefield illusions. 
Brazilian faced Tathagata gone past suffering. Preserver Hare Krishna returning in the age of pain. Sacred Heart, my Christ, acceptable. Allah, the compassionate one. Yahweh, righteous one. All knowledge princes of earth, man, all ancient seraphim of heavenly desire, devas, yogis, and holy men I chant to. Come to my lone presence into this vortex named Kansas. I lift my voice aloud, make mantra of American language now. I here declare the end of the war. Let the states tremble. Let the nation weep. Let Congress legislate its own delight. Let the president execute his own desire. This act done by my own voice, published to my own senses, blissfully received by my own form, approved with pleasure by my sensations, manifestation of my very thought, accomplished in my own imagination, all realms within my consciousness fulfilled 60 miles from Wichita near El Dorado, the golden one, in chill earthly mist, houseless brown farmland plains rolling heavenward in every direction, one midwinter afternoon, Sunday called the day of the Lord. Pure spring water gathered in one tower where Florence is set on a hill, stop for tea and gas.